In this week's lab, you'll use what you've learned in lecture about converging and diverging lenses to find the focal lengths of a set of four different lenses. There are two types of lenses. Converging lenses take light rays that are coming in parallel and bend them toward a single point on the other side of the lens. The distance to this point is called the focal length of the lens. If the rays of light are coming from a point closer to the lens so that they are still diverging, the lens will bend the rays but they will focus at a point farther away from the lens than the focal point. As long as the source is farther away from the lens than the focal point, a converging lens will be able to focus the light at one point on the other side of the lens, and the lens will make a real image. It's easy to measure the distance to a real image, since you can put a screen at that point and see the image in focus. This will make it easy to find the focal length of a converging lens. A diverging lens takes light from infinity and bends it outward so that it looks like it's coming from a point a distance f behind the lens. If the source of the light is closer to the lens, the rays just diverge even more, and they look like they're coming from a point even closer to the lens. So no matter where you put a light source on one side of a diverging lens, you can't create a real image on the other side. This makes it difficult to measure the focal point of a diverging lens. What you can do to find the focal length of a diverging lens is combine it with a converging lens. If the light entering the diverging lens is converging, then the light after the diverging lens can be converging enough to still converge to a point and make a real image. When lenses combine, the image from the first lens becomes the object for the second lens. Then to calculate the focal length of the diverging lens, you'll measure the image and object distances from the first lens and the image and object distances for the second lens. You'll combine the two thin lens equations, one for each lens, and solve for the diverging lens's focal length. To examine a converging lens, try putting the lens in a screen on rails and aiming it out the window. The red labeled lens is the shortest focal length, so it'll be easiest to use to get a bright image. If it's bright enough day outside, you can use the building across the street as your object at infinity. If you have the screen about a focal length away from the lens, you'll be able to see the inverted image of the building outside, focused on the screen. You can replace the red labeled lens with a green labeled lens with a larger focal length to see an image with a higher magnification. To measure the focal length of a lens, this is what we'll use. We'll place a light source at the zero mark on our set of rails and a screen 30 centimeters away. We'll measure the focal length of the red lens by using it to form an image of the light source on the screen. Slide the lens back and forth and note when we have an image in focus on the screen. From these values, we'll be able to calculate the focal length of the lens. When you measure the focal length of the diverging lens, you'll first set up a single converging lens, just like in the previous section. You'll measure the image and object distances. You'll then insert your diverging lens just after the converging lens and find the new image location. The measurements of these distances and the distance between the lenses will allow you to calculate the diverging lens's focal length. 